What's up, guys? So we're here with a art. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? We're here with another Rust update video, and I'm here with Meaty Rock. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, he's laughing because I messed up the intro a minute ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we're here just to cover all the new stuff added into Rust. And uh, we're wearing Halloweeny outfits. He's got his Halloweeny head, and I've got my uh, skeleton get up here. Yeah, yeah. So, got a little skeleton shirt on and a wolf hat. And uh, yeah, they add a lot of content this time around and a couple changes to some things, so that'll be nice. And uh, so, yeah, we've got new signs, as you guys saw in my sign update video. I'm probably seeing for the first time here with Meaty. So, you've got these like billboards, which are pretty awesome. Yeah, these are pretty cool. They look re really nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've got the uh, directional signs, which yeah. are pretty cool. And then you've got these banners. So there's the hanging banners, which I put in the German flag. And we've got the shop keepy. Yeah, the ye olde shop -e. Exactly. <laughs> and um, then you've got a standing banner, which is pretty nice. cool. Yeah, yeah, I really like the banners. You start putting them outside your bases, representing the clan. Exactly, exactly. And um, they did uh, do one little thing. There's now a stone upgrade sound. So Ooh. I don't know if you heard that. It's kind of like Ooh. a clink, clink. Cook, cook. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I thought that was neat uh, compared to the sounds they had last week. And then uh, if you want to dip into this chest here and grab out, uh, there's a bunch of like hatchets and a rock. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to grab? Uh, there should be the two hatchets, the pickaxe, and the rock. Okay. I got it. All right, ready? On three. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all these items are now throwable. Oh, right in the crotch. Nice. All right, the shoulder blade. Uh, so can we pick these back up? Like, yes. Yeah. Okay, I see them. Yeah, you can. Um, oh, that, of oh. course, if the, if durability doesn't allow, they will break. Yeah. Um, so we I'm can have going. like like tomahawk matches, dude. Yep, yep. Yeah, just throw axes. Here's a med kit really so you awesome. don't have the stupid bleeding overlay. I, I have it. I got it. Oh, you already did? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so that, that's actually a pretty cool thing. Um, uh, who knows if they're going to add more throwable weapons, like maybe like knives or something like that. Oh, there you go. Let me get that out of your face there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that'd be cool. There are a few other weapon changes. The AK seems to work a little differently again, but uh, nothing like you can hear or see. It's just kind of, you got to mess around with it. And then, let's see, I'm going to take half these rockets and these grenades here. Um, and so rockets actually have a new sound and animation. Uh, so we can go ahead and just... I shoot at the scrap metal here. This thing shouldn't be able to be destroyed. Ooh! So that's a nice little effect there. Nice! And then we got these uh, grenades. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna cook one up. Yeah, so they've made grenades better. The, Gary admitted that their grenades sucked. Uh, they do more damage, they've got a cool effect now. They throw faster, better, bounce less, so you can kind of direct, um, directly get them where you want them to be. Yeah. Now, of course, the bean cans are going to be much derpier than the F1, but the point is they want the F1s to be used against uh, sentry turrets. Okay. Because sentry turrets actually take extra damage from uh, explosive. Yeah, I like that. That's, a, that's a definitely a lot better... Uh uh, grenade play. I, I yeah. really didn't like the grenade play before. Yeah, it, it was bad. <laughs> um, so let's see. What else we got here in the magic chest? Uh, so in here we've got um, the recipe for the sentry turret there. Uh, it does require a blueprint library to get the um, blueprint for it, and the blueprint is rare, so I don't know if you want to look in there. Yeah, okay. And um, the first two parts of there, the laptop and the camera, can only be gotten from airdrops and from the helicopter. Uh, from my understanding, the helicopter will always have those parts. Airdrops may or may not. Nice. Uh, Gary has stated, yes, sentries are more of an endgame thing for bigger groups. We will be doing other traps and focusing from this point forward on doing a middle to early game kind of stuff uh, from this point on. So they said they're kind of leaving the endgame stuff for the time being and going to beginning like people have been asking so that's kind of cool yeah the turrets um, and the drones and stuff are really awesome 
Uh, yeah, d- yeah, definitely been looking for traps and just way to ways to pretty much screw your opponent for a long time now. Yeah, now turrets can't be placed on terrain anymore. Um, there was at one point you could, um, so they do have to be uh, placed inside a building. If you place them outside, they're meant to be easily destroyed. So they're they're definitely meant to be inside. And uh, if you want to place one somewhere here, there's one. Um, you can see there's a little arrow now that does a directional. Kind of shows you which way the turret's going to face. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you kind of have to face them towards you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Nice. Um, they can be rotated after, um, I believe is what they said. But let's see. I'm going to authorize myself here. And, yeah, there's a rotate option. So okay. now I've rotated it. So you can change that. Um, and uh, can you authorize yourself on that? Yeah, I already did. Okay, cool. So they did fix all those bugs, um, thankfully. So uh, if you want to authorize yourself on that one as well. Okay. And then uh, we put some ammo in them. Exactly, yeah. Let's grab some ammo. I'll fill this guy up here. And uh, they did make all 12 slots usable now. Oh, Because uh, nice. they do go through ammo pretty quickly. So originally it was supposed to be six, but they decided to do 12. So you can hold uh, just under, um, just four over f- um, 700 rounds in there. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. But they do chew through them quickly. They really do. Um, well, it's like an AK that's just constantly spraying, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, just kind of to show off the uh, dam, and as you can hear, they actually have neat little sounds as they move around. And, and there's kind of like a dinging from the computer. But I'm going to go ahead and toss a grenade over here at this guy and see what, how much damage we do to it. So, oh, it did nothing. Oh, wow. It damaged the floor. That's concerning. Uh, uh, you want to try rockets? Uh, let's see. That one rolled right under it. 500 to 500. Wow, okay. <laughs> 500 to 500. So, okay. I mean, this is the live build, guys. So, obviously, they didn't fix that. So, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to turn this guy off. And I'm going to clear the authorization slot. And oh, run. God. <laughs> oh, God. So, okay. Oh, it didn't turn back on. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's he's targeting you. Uh, can we get uh, can we get turrets to, like fight each other? That'd be cool. Ah. Oh, uh, oh. Why isn't it shooting me? Oh, cause I reauthorized myself. Oh. Uh. I thought I was battling it. So I need to turn it on and then clear. Now is it gonna shoot me? I guess you can't turn them against yourself, but it's probably going to shoot at you. Yeah, oh. yep. Okay. So how much health do you have left? Uh, 21. Okay, so yeah, it, it tore into you pretty good. So they're still just about as powerful as they were in my other video. Um, but as you can see, about a clip of... Oh, maybe you just can't damage your own turret. Oh, maybe you can't damage your own... Oh, it just shot me through you. Here, try uh, shooting it. Ow. Oh, you know why it's not doing any damage. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I turned uh, my turret on you. It's not doing any damage because things can't be broken over here because we're in the arena area. Oh, uh, okay. That, that's why. So, okay, ignore that, people. I'm pretty sure rockets and uh, grenades do damage. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn mine off. If you turn yours off over there. Yeah, it's off. Okay, uh, well, let's head upstairs. we got a few more things to show. Okay, awesome. Uh, so we've also got some Halloween-themed items. So we've got the uh, spooky sleeping bag and the grave sleeping bag. Ooh, this guy looks awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And, of course, there's the, you know, the, the jack-o'-lanterns, but those were added a few updates ago. And uh, you've got these nice painting canvases here. So there's five sizes. 
For some reason with the stone walls, the stone wall clips through the bottom of them a bit, which is a little irritating to me. Kind of an OCD thing. Yeah. Uh, it was worse. They fixed it a bit, I think. And then if you want to look in here, they added some Halloween-themed skins. Um, so we've got all these balclavas up here, and then we've got a uh, bandana and a shirt. So if you want to look in there and take the pistol out. Oh, you're wearing zipper face, huh? Yeah. Creepy. <laughs> but this pistol's really cool, um, if you want to take a look at it here. Ah. While I'm holding it, and I'll take a side look at yours. You got a little bat on it, and it's orange and stuff, so it's pretty neat. Uh, it'd be cool if they added some of the AK skins. There was some really cool, like, Black Widow one and a few others, but hey, you take what you can get, right? Um, the cool thing about these skins that you guys want to do, you want to play right now, they turn back on um, drops. So when you play Rust right now, um, it will drop a, have a chance of dropping these Halloween skins, so you can actually get them for free without paying for them. But once it's over, they'll be removed from the marketplace. Um, so this is something you want to do right now. Um, if you're on our server where we have the plugin we do, you can actually... Uh, oh, wow, that clown thing is creepy. Uh, <laughs> you can actually just get them by crafting randomly. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's pretty much that there. But yeah, that pretty much covers um, all the item changes um, that we have. They have actually changed the tool cupboards to where you cannot place them next to each other anymore, um, which is a big, big. So deal. like, if they're not, they can't be inside of each other's bubbles, yeah. kind of. So I'm placed. I placed a tool cupboard here. Yep. And now it's saying I'm not allowed to. And then if I get out of it and I come out here, I can place one. Okay. So I can't put one within that radius, but the tool cupboards still only cover half a floor below them. So you're going to have to be a little smarter about your tool cupboard. Um, I have a little picture um, that I'm going to toss up here to kind of show what the changes they did to tool cupboard radiuses. Um, I'll toss it to Meaty so he can put in his video as well. Um, that's kind of the idea there. But if you want to do uh, one last thing here, we're going to pull out a building plan. And uh, I, you notice anything missing? Let me get it out. Uh, no more half blocks. Yep. Wow. Half blocks are gone. Wow. The half block and the ramp. So this guy right here is, is a foundation, but the actual like half block ramp is gone. Gary said you guys weren't using them properly, anyways. No one used them as half blocks. You used them to build stuff like shelves and cool looking this and that. So we rather just get rid of them, cut the fat, and give you guys actual items. So right now they are working on shelves that we can put storage chests on, and they're also working on shutters. Um, so you know how people would make like the shooting galleys with uh, yeah. half blocks? Yeah. They're making actual like sh uh, shutters and slots. Um, okay, nice. Which they showed in the dev blog. I'll also give you those pictures that you can stick right here in your video uh, so people can see it. So they, uh, unfortunately, I wish they had added the new stuff before getting rid of the old stuff. Um, for some reason, they always get rid of stuff before they put the new version in, like the ladders, for instance. But hey, at least they're working on something to replace it. So um, that pretty much covers everything except one last little business here and um, we're going to do weather rain one and there's a new rain effect so if you look at the ground you can actually see the rain like kind of like make a little puddle splash oh nice and they've actually kind of fixed it up uh, it looks much better um, the overlays better and the rain just all all together looks much more authentic I think uh, so that that's actually pretty cool. Otherwise, it's, they've it, done little changes sound, here and there. It sounds different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're working on the sounds and the ambience of lots of things. Uh, next update, they want to add uh, like bugs and stuff. So like if there's a corpse, flies go around it. If you pick up a log, bugs scatter. Um, um, if you have a lantern on, moths come to it. That oh, kind of stuff, cool. which is really cool. The oh, other thing is there's also footsteps. Um, so you, you can see the footprints. Oh, yeah, I see them. Look, like, yeah. right here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we leave footprints behind, and so do all the animals. Um, so you can actually kind of track an animal now. Nice. So uh, that that's definitely pretty cool. Um, so that covers this update, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing all of it here. And uh, for people wondering about the wipe, the wipe was pushed um, by Face Punch. They pushed it to the 5th, um, so that'll be next Thursday, a week uh, from um, this week's update here. 
and that's when they'll be doing a forced wipe for all servers. Uh, rumor is people are hoping that means we're getting some of the new Rad Towns, uh, since they've stated they are mostly done. Hopefully they are. If not, oh well. <laughs> we'll get them eventually, guys. But uh, that's about it for this uh, uh, Rust update. Thanks for joining us, guys. Later, guys.